everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Designed by the Stars, and today I'm gonna to show you my bag collection. Um, <laughs> a little disclaimer, I love bags, but I don't like spending a lot of money. So a lot of these bags have been found on the pre-loved market. Um, a lot of them are vintage bags, and I only really buy bags that speak to me and bags that I would need in my life. So um, a lot of these bags, I guess you would consider to be high-end designer, and some of them are kind of like the level under that, so like a Coach or a Mansur Gabrielle. Um, I don't know what you call the premium, but not super high-end. Um, so without further ado, here are my bags. Okay, so my first bag is this one. It is the Louis Vuitton. It's been like five years. I think it's the Louis Vuitton Damier Eben. So it's the brown checkered print. If you hear barking in the background, it is my dog. I think this is the 30. I think that's the size. It's really big. I needed like a big duffel bag for my work, so I kind of was into this forever, and it was very popular at the time five years ago, but it's still a very, very nice bag. I really like it. It's very, instead of having all like the monograms on it, I like how simple it is, and it just is a workhorse bag. So, um, like I said, I got this from the pre-loved market. Um, it was on really big discount because there's a hole in the back, and the lock, which, um, comes with it she did not have the key so it was kind of like permanently stuck and um, what else did it, what else was it oh and I think it came with like a big strap but she lost the strap too but I kind of just carry it in the crook of my arm like this um, I don't really carry it as much anymore but I just love this bag and I thought it was such a nice find so that is my um, speedy Damier Eben from Louis Vuitton Love it, good big bag, you can just, it's a bottomless pit. It's like, I call it my Mary Poppins bag because you can literally throw anything into it. So that's that one. All right, let me do my other Louis Vuitton. This is my favorite bag. Not because of like what it looks like, but because this was my first designer bag and my grandmother got this for me. Um, we were in New York and she knew how much I like dreamed of having a Louis Vuitton bag and it wasn't super expensive at the time. This is before all like the price increases and I kept seeing this like special edition bag so I really wanted it and she surprised me and got it for me and that was like the biggest thing ever and it's not like we have like a ton of money but she got it for me and I just like hold it so near and dear to my heart. I still have the original dust bag and it is this little clutch. It's from the denim collection. I barely, barely, barely ever use it um, just because I don't wanna mess it up because it's such a special bag to me. It does have a little wear and tear like on the little buckle here. I don't even know if you can see that. It has like a little scratch. Um, I will say this did get very scratched up, but I just love this bag. And I looked at the resale market for these and it's like an astronomical price. So I'm like, I'm glad I got this bag. I think it was only maybe high 300s, low 400s at the time. And now it's going for like a couple of like thousand dollars. I'm like, oh my gosh, but I'm never gonna sell this bag. Inside, it is like a, like a brownie orange suede lining. And it's just so well made. I love this bag. Like I said, it is my favorite bag. It is like outlasted the test of time. And I just love it so much. So that is my little Louis Vuitton. I don't know the official name of it. I know it's from the denim collection. I think it had to be around 2006 when I got this. So that is that one. And then, what should I do next? Oh, I'll do this one. So also on the pre-loved market, this is my only Chanel bag that I have because I can't justify buying a Chanel bag that is like so super expensive right now. And they are just, the price increases for these bags go up so much that I just couldn't. But I saw this on the pre-love market as well. And I just loved it. It's from 
think circa the early 90s, it said. I loved the little tassel on it, and you can tell it is very good quality. It's a little bag, but it's kind of heavy. Like the chain, you can tell is good quality. It's very heavy. And whoever had this bag previously took very, very good care of it. Um, it's like that cushiony leather, and I just love it. I don't know much about this bag. The seller who got it, got it from a vintage store. So she wasn't sure of the origins of the bag. She knew it like, she knew it came from like, maybe like early 90s. Um, but that's about it. On the inside, oh, do I still have the little tag? The little tag fell off of it too. Um, so it's been well loved. So they had the little tag, but it fell off. Um, it doesn't really fit anything into it. Um, I guess back in the early 90s, you didn't have as much. You maybe had a lipstick and like a little wallet or something. Um, we didn't have our big phones like we do now, so I definitely can't fit my big iPhone in there, but I just love the way it looks. It's on display in my um, glam room, and I just absolutely love this bag. So that's my only Chanel. If you have any idea what this bag is called and what just any information on it, leave it down below. Um, I would love to know the history of this bag. Um, I've tried looking it up. I think I found like one picture that looked similar to this bag, but I couldn't find any information on it. So if you were a Chanel aficionado, please let me know um, about this bag because I absolutely love it too. So that is my Chanel. Um, let's do, okay. I'm gonna do Mansur Gabrielle. I love this brand. It's kind of more popular now, but when they first came out, it was very, I wouldn't say like an indie brand, but it's um, I don't, not as well known, but it's definitely got more well known and the prices have definitely gone up on it. But when they first came out with these bags, I got their like famous bucket bag. And this was like supposed to be the like light brown tan leather. Um, and you can see a little gold on there. It stains, I feel so bad. It stains so easily. Um, I know it adds to like the patina and the prettiness of it, but um, I don't know. It just, it stains so quickly. And as you can see, like you can see the little rain. I got caught in the rain with the bag. So that's what happened with it. Um, but I absolutely love this bag. I do love the color. I put some like leather um, treatment on it. So it did help it out a little bit more. It was a lighter color brown, but I do like the color. And inside, I think it's like ballerina shoe pink. I think is what they call it. I don't remember, but it's the pink um, color inside. It's like a big hole. Um, a lot does fit into this bag. I bought it with my own money um, in, 2016 maybe from Saks Fifth Avenue in Las Vegas when I was there. So I absolutely love this bag and I do carry it a lot. It's more of a summery bag for me so that's when I really pull it out. But like with my other bags, I don't like to carry them too much because I don't want to like ruin them. Um, so that's my first Mansur Gabrielle. Oh, yeah. Let's do this one. Another Mansur Gabrielle. I picked this one up when I was in New York City about two years ago from the actual store. And I wanted a clutch. I carry a lot of clutches. Um, we go out to dinner a lot and go to events and stuff. So I wanted another little clutch. So this is the clutch bag. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's huge. It's like the envelope bag, I think is what it's called. And inside, it is bright pink. <laughs> I love that like pop of color inside. Um, and I like to do, obviously I like neutrally, neutrally, neutral bags. Um, this is the smooth leather and I love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. Um, you can definitely like hook a lot of stuff onto it. I kind of just carry it like this, but you can, you can also loop it around your wrist and wear it like that. So that is my other Mansur Gabrielle. I love that brand. I would um, buy more for them, but I feel like their prices went up too. So I definitely have to save up for that, but I like the two bags that I have from them. All right, let's do another, um, I guess he's more, 
not indie. I wouldn't say he's the level of like Chanel and Louis Vuitton, but he's definitely up there. This is from Philip Lim. I love his bags. They were definitely popular a couple years ago. Um, and I got this, I think again, I think 2016 was like my year of buying like nicer bags. This is a little clutch bag. Like I said, I love to have clutches. And it says, it says OMG. It's in a smooth leather and it's like a burgundy. I don't know if it's reading that well on the camera, but it is a burgundy, like wine, red wine color. I love this bag. I get compliments on it whenever I carry it. It has like a gunmetal silver um, hardware on it. And inside is just like a black and then they also have the leather inside too with the Philip Lim on it. And I absolutely love this bag too. It's a nice little clutch to take out and I like that it's like different from like my black and white and cream bags. So it's still kind of like neutral to me, but it, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a color. All right. And this I got from Saks, I think again in, where was I? Maybe in New York. I think I got this one too. All right. So then I don't know if you consider this a designer bag, but this is a special edition, limited edition, um, fossil and opening ceremony bag. And this, I love this bag so much. It's really quirky. It's probably the quirkiest bag I have. Look at this. <laughs> it's a little compass. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little compass in this little carrying bag. And I like to, I carry this to like special events like weddings or um, birthdays. Let me try to get this open. Oh, and on the top, it says opening ceremony and fossil. And I'm not really a big fossil person, but when I walked into the store, I saw it in there and I was just like, I have to have this bag. I love this bag so much. I can't open it. It comes with a crossbody strap. Um, I don't even think you can get this anymore. I got this a year ago from fossil and it comes with this crossbody which I love to wear things crossbody. You can't fit a lot in here because it has those little, little side things that kind of keep you from getting stuff in there. I can fit my phone in there fine, but I have to limit um, some of my smaller leather goods in there. Um, so that is that. I love the checkerboard print on it. It's definitely a loud bag, but I definitely really, really like this bag a lot. So that is that one. <clears throat> my next bag is from Longchamp, I believe is what you call it, and it is their special edition Valentine's Day bag. Oh, it's really dirty on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> I loved Longchamp bags, but I definitely like their like special, like limited edition bags the most. I think they're really cool. And this, it's like indestructible. Like you can't um, destroy this. And my boyfriend got this for me for Valentine's Day four years ago. Um, so it has all the things you expect from a long shot bag, the big handle, um, it has the leather, um, little pieces on it, and it has different like Valentine's saying, and it came with like a little heart thing, and I couldn't find it when I was going through the bag, unless it's in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. No, I don't know where it went. Um, but you could put it on there, and it was really cute. I thought it was neat. Um, so it has all these little sayings on the front and then on the back, which is super, super cute. Again, really dirty. I don't know why the bag is so dirty. It has exos and little hearts and they're kind of like little fuzzy hearts. I thought this is super cute. Another little kind of like a loud bag, but I like carrying it around cause it, like I said, it's like indestructible. If it rains on this bag, I really don't care. Um, and they are easy to clean even though this is like really dirty and I carry it more than just in February near Valentine's Day. I like, I don't know, I just love this bag. So that's my long shot bag. And last but not least, this is probably the bag I carry the most. Um, it is the Coach Rogue bag. And I don't know what size, it's the bigger size for the Rogue. Um, not the biggest one it can be, but it's like in between like the smallest 
the medium one, I guess. Um, and it has this like faux, I don't know if it's real or not, but it's like a faux snake print top. And I just loved how neutral this was. When Coach came out with this bag a couple years ago, I fell in love with it. I have never been so in love with a bag in my life. Like I kind of just wanted to buy it. And I got this one on super clearance because I went into the Coach store and I asked them if they had any rogue bags. And um, they said that they had some on the floor, but I was looking for something like more neutral like this and they're like, hold on one second. So they went to the back and they brought this one out and they said it's on super clearance because the strap was, it, they didn't ship it from the where they make manufacture them. They forgot to bring the strap with it. So they've had it just sitting in the back. And again, me who loves deals on bags was like, I'll take it. I don't need that strap. I can find one and um, get it, put it on there myself. But I just like loved this bag. And I think like it's so simple, but it is gonna last the test of time. It is like a pebbled leather, I guess, if you can see that. Um, and it's just such a quality bag. I feel like Coach has become such a like all-star brand. It used to be kind of like, I hate to say it, like a Marc Jacobs and a Michael Kors where it was kind of like everyone and their mother kind of had it. And Coach, like I don't really like the like logos on everything, but I definitely love this one. And they have another little like carry-all bag that's really pretty too. I forget the name of it, but this is the Rogue and I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm kind of looking at getting the smaller size because I carry this one so much um, and I just absolutely love it. So I'm not gonna rattle on anymore. That is my um, handbag collection. Let me know what you guys thought of it down below. If you can give me information about that little Chanel bag, that would be so great. Um, and of course my collection is still growing. I am not a millionaire, I cannot afford luxury bags, so whenever I save up for a purchase, it is a big deal to me. So that is my video. I hope you guys enjoy it, enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.